Like when he's doing like, da -da 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 -da. you know, he's kids singing that voice. All right, today I'm checking out Pat Benatar. I'm listening to her cover of I Need a Lover. Let's get into it. <laughs> that drummer's intense. See, I like Pat Benatar's voice. I like her voice in this. She's giving us a couple different styles. Like she's switching between like the, the high pitch, like uh, 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 and then she got like a regular singing voice, but then she has that scratchy, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of scratchy singing voice. And I'm guessing that in the uh, original song of John Mellencamp, when she's doing the scratchy voice, that's probably when he's doing like da -da 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 -da. you know how he's kids singing that voice? Like where he kind of reaches down and gets a little grumbly and stuff. That would be my guess of what's going on here. I don't freaking know. But I'm, it just, when she sings in that, it reminds me of him singing with his, like, grumble. But yeah, I, I like Pat Benatar's voice. My favorite style, though, is it's the higher pitch one. But then the scratch one would be next. Crazy. The word crazy when she said, I need a lover that won't drive me crazy. Like when she said crazy, that was when she hit the highest note, I feel like, of the whole song. And in the style, that was when she got the highest. But in the beginning, I felt like she was singing in a little more high styles. Wasn't she? Was she not? I thought so. But then the second half of the song, it's like, it's just crazy. Crazy. And then everything else was like, you know, mid and then scratchy and whatnot. The scratchy voice is cool too. I mean, given it's a cover, we know she didn't write the song, so, like, she needs a lover. Well, she probably still does need a lover that doesn't drive her crazy. I think this is a common sentiment. You know what I mean? Even seen similar sentiments in chat? Sometimes people just drive people crazy. That's part of it. And what's the art of picking a lover? 
that doesn't drive you crazy. You know what? I don't even know if there's an art to it because sometimes people grow apart. Like they didn't drive you crazy at first, but maybe they grew in one direction, you grew in the other. Next thing you know, they're driving you crazy and you're driving them crazy. You get divorced, you know what I mean? Things happen. It's like hopefully people grow together, but sometimes you grow apart. It is what it is. There's no art. It's all luck. Marriage is a crap shoot. Now maybe there's art, now I just don't know the art. I think it's a crap shoot. Given that the divorce rate's over 50%. Sounds like a crap shoot to me. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.